Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you more helpful tips and tricks and hidden features on the new Pixel Fold. Now I did a video a few months back and I went over some setup tips and tricks and some just good things to know as you're setting it up for the first time. What I wanna add on that, I've been using this phone for a few months as my main phone and I have some other really cool things to show you just to enhance your experience using this phone. So. Let's jump right in. Now in that first video, I talked about how to multitask, which is running two apps at one time. As a quick refresher, you're gonna tap on one app, open it up. Right now I have YouTube open. Now I'm going to swipe up from the bottom here and I'm going to select another app. I'm gonna hold down on this app here and I can just drag it up the screen like this. Make sure you're on the app, hold, drag it up. I can move it to this right side of the screen and have YouTube on the left, or I can drag it to the left side and have the app on this side and move YouTube over here. Well, this way I now can have these two apps open. And guess what? The tip I wanna show you is, if you wanna flop the apps and have this one on this side and that one on that side, simply tap on this little white bar in the center and that will allow them to switch screens just like that. And then you can interact with them, you know, obviously control this side here and then control what's going on, on this side here. So that's gonna be our first tip. Now our next tip is gonna be what is called the quick launch camera by simply double tapping on the power button. It'll automatically take you right to your camera and allow you to start capturing video or pictures. Now this will work if the phone is on or off. So right now if I turn that screen off and I double tap that power button, it's gonna wake up the phone and take it right to the camera. One of my favorite features here because I never miss important moments, I know all I have to do is double tap that power button and my camera is gonna launch and be ready to roll. Now for this next tip, I want you to pay close attention because this could save your life. That's right, this could save your life, so pay close attention. You're gonna tap the power button five times really quickly, just like this, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to launch what is called the emergency SOS mode. And I'm gonna cancel this before it activates. So what did I just do? I just activated what is called, again, the emergency SOS mode. This is a great feature to use if you find yourself in danger and you need to alert the people closest to you that you need help. So let me go into it in a little more detail, but first we need to go to the settings menu. So let's swipe down from the top of the screen. We're gonna tap on the settings wheel. From here, we wanna go down to the emergency and safety mode right here. And here you'll find a list of things that you need to fill out. Take some time today and go through this section. So first of all, medical information. Sign your Google account first so you can input that information. And um, basically, you can plug in your emergency contacts. When you activate that SOS mode, it will alert your emergency contacts that you need help. Now, this could be a number of different things. It could be maybe you're diabetic and you haven't had um, what you need for the day and you're about to faint. You can activate this mode and it will trigger a text to your emergency contacts telling them that you need help. It could also be in the event of a natural disaster or you could be in a robbery, whatever it is, it's a way to send a message to your uh, important contacts in your life so they know you're in trouble and they can come to your rescue. Now, let me skip pass here. So this is some of the information you would want to log in. So name, blood type, any allergies that you have. And then from here, um, you can plug in your home address. Now, if you were about to faint and you activated this mode, it would display this medical information on the home screen so that whoever finds you can see, oh, this person might be diabetic or this person might have this rare uh, blood disease and which could cause them to faint. Whatever it is, it'll display that on the home screen so that the um, medical provider that shows up would know how to care for you properly. So that's one of the really cool benefits there. Um, so you'll plug in medical information. You want to plug in your emergency contacts. 
There is also the car crash detection, detection feature as well, which you can have to trigger, again, a message to certain people in the event you were in a crash and maybe you fainted. They would know that something is wrong and um, they would be able to come to your aid. So another few important pieces of information are that when you activate this mode, it will begin to record from the camera. So if something is happening, it's recording video, it's recording audio. It's also uh, taking a stamp of your current location as well. So it can ping that to your emergency contact. So again, I would tell you take some time and go through each section here and make sure this feature is turned on. Uh, in the event of an emergency, this could save your life by alerting the people that you love and letting them know that you're in trouble and you need their help. So that is our emergency and safety feature. Pop quiz, how do we activate that? We're gonna tap that power button fast five times. I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see. One, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna go here and um, in this case, it's saying touch and hold for three seconds to activate it. So we are at the screen. The next thing you have to do is keep your finger in this circle for three seconds. That So double tap five times, it takes us here. Put your finger in the button for those three seconds and that's gonna fully trigger the mode and that's gonna alert the contacts and it's going to uh, start recording and timestamp your location. For the next tip, I want to show you how to use the Google Live Translator. You have to ask the Google Assistant in the right way in order to get them to launch it properly. So let me show you the way to do that. You can either hold down on the power button for one second to launch the Google Assistant, or you can tap on the microphone on the home screen. Be my translator, English to Spanish. Got it. I'll be your interpreter. How can I help you? ¿Le puedo ayudar en algo? Yo necesito comida. I need food. What kind of food do you like to eat? ¿Qué tipo de comida te gusta comer? Okay. I'll get you chicken and broccoli. How does that sound? Está bien. Te traeré pollo y brócoli. ¿Cómo suena eso? Okay, so let's close that up now. So that is the live translator mode. And for our last tip, this is a really simple one, but when you swipe up, you're going to see all your apps that are currently running. And you can swipe up on each one to close them out. Or you can swipe all the way to the right and simply tap on the clear all button here and that'll close all the running apps, which usually helps with keeping the phone moving nice and fast. So that is it guys. If you learned anything new in this video, stop and hit that like button down below. It helps the video to reach more people. And I have one ask of you after that, which is leave me a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite tip that I shared. I always love to hear about the tips that are still new that people don't know about. So leave that in the comment section down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.